What is happening, everybody? This is Anthony coming to you with the play-by-play -play on our 1968 top set. Just closed it out with a bang, a big one for us. So we're going to cover what we have in the set, go over most of the highlights, and then show you how we finish this thing off. So first, I'm just going to start with just some of the, you know, a couple of little stars, not great or anything, right? But just to give you an idea of some of the, you know, condition that we look for, right? So if you've seen some of our other videos, looking for EX, EX Mint on the 50s, 60s baseball set. Um, so with 68, a little tricky, right? To get it with the wood grain, but overall, decent condition. Just started with a little Joe Morgan, right? Solid overall, like showing the Joe, because there's a lot of cars from 68 that had the same exact picture as 69. Um, you know, Tops wasn't investing the time in the picks back then. Um, you know, you see a couple more here. Gibson, right? Pretty strong. Good centering on the Gibson. Not always the case for all of our stuff. Tough to get the older stuff. Reasonable price uh, with the centering. Maze is a good example. Sharp corners on the Maze. But definitely all centered. All right, so we'll have a mix of that. You know, um, overall, we'll upgrade the sets as we go forward, try to get better Saturday, better corners, more graded, right? But the closed sets out, it's one thing. We try not to linger too long on a set, get it closed. Otherwise, you work on one set forever. Um, another sharp example, though, on Raw is uh, Clemente, pretty good overall. Um, you know, it's not a bad copy of the Clemente there. So just to give you a feel, some of the stuff we have you know a lot of people will do less condition on the stars i mean we just don't take that approach right i mean for us the values and the stars so you'll see a lot of sets where the commons and semi stars are better condition we just don't do that right so you see sharp stars there um and a lot of the graded i'll show you are, are the biggest stars so one other thing too this is a master set for us right so it's 68 now 68 has depending on who you talk to, can have an insane amount of variations. We go with the pretty much the standard that everybody accepts, right? Um, not looking for there's a little dot below the guy's chin type of variation, um, but really the standard ones that are in the master set that everyone's looking for. So a lot of them for 68, um, outside of a couple, which you know we'll show, are like checklists, right? So slight variations if you look at the hat, you know, different spots of where the hat is on the card, right? Just three as uh, checklist, a couple others with the Marischal um, and some others. Kind of those are minor, right? Um, but we have all the variations um, and we don't really get it to a couple people will do the 68 Milton Bradley variation. So there's a couple of guys that their team card or their team is a white letter, but they have the yellow letter. That's actually from Milton Bradley set. So we didn't want to get into that and worry about Milton Bradley. Um, there is one other card that goes from, um, should be a yellow letter is a white letter. That's very tough. Part of the normal set. Uh, we do have that one. So well, let's get into some of the graded though. So first one. Now the other thing we do with graded is seven or better. So you see the rows. It is OC. I know some people don't like that at all. You know, for us, we try to stay seven or better, make it simple. Um, Sometimes just the OC will come at the right price. We don't really mess with any marked uh, that have ink or um, you know anything like that um, or stains. We stay away from those, but the OC will live with. Um, that's just where we draw the line. Everyone's you know let me know. I mean, where do you draw the line, right? Again, if you try to be too strict, you may never close the set. Um, but some people just don't want to touch OC and strictly focus on centering, right? Um, now another one for those who know us. Huge Mets fans, right? We collect uh, Doc and Daryl from when we were kids. Um, two other big names in this set from the Mets, obviously. You know, one of them being this guy right here, Tom Seaver, second year. Um, old slab. So another thing, we definitely try to get new slabs. Not always possible, right? Or the price is right on the older slab. This was pretty good overall. I mean, we noticed there's a difference in the vintage old slab condition versus new. But that one's pretty sharp. I think the centering maybe, you know, might not get an eight today. Um, but that one's really strong. Now, anything we do, the goal is to be going to be to get this guy graded in every set. 
Now, not the oldest slab in the middle there, so it has the hologram, but not the new slab hologram, you know, but we're gonna get the MIG, again, seven or better every set we can. You know, early 50s, obviously, man, a rookie, you know, the tune's gonna change a little there, but in the 60s, for sure, it's gonna be seven or better, uh, late 50s, so, so, so far, we've been able to do that as well. All right, here's another mantle. This is a tough card right here. Got a maze on it as well. All right, Killebrew at an eight. All right, that's a strong card, new slab there. Um, so we really like that one. Now, we'll get into a few more. Just got a few more here, a couple of the bigger cards in the set, right? So one is gonna be this Johnny rookie. Now, with the bench, Okay, some may or may not know there's a variation on the bench. So let me show that seven there, All right? There's a variation on the bench. So for this bench, if you look right in the middle of the first sentence, is the word the, All right? Or sorry, I think it's the third sentence is the one that might be the, the variation, All right? But this one doesn't have it, All right? So there's a variation on the bench. This one doesn't have it. All right, so this is the regular. Now we come to the variation. All right, so it is, sorry, it is the first sentence. So in the first sentence, you're gonna see T-N-E instead of the, all right. So that's a slight, slight, slight variation. It's got both of them as a seven, all right. So that's really strong. Got both bench rookies as a seven in the set. Mantles, two mantles in the set as sevens, all right. So Rose, Seaver, really nice. Now here we're gonna to come to the other variation. So this is the one I was talking about, super tough. This one took a long time to get. These don't pop up, right? These don't pop up. So this is the Mike McCormick white letter, right? You see the Giants white letter there, the team name, right? In a seven, new slab. Forget the pop on it, can't be more than 20, you know, I think max, um, probably lower. Super tough, right? But we really like that card. Um, it was, you know, crazy expensive on a raw. So raw VG condition, people were getting crazy money. So we saw the slab and it came up and, you know, just decided to pay a little more, but, you know, grab a really good condition. Now for the last card of the set, and this is what we closed it out on. All right, it's the monster. For us, it's the monster. So the Nolan. Now old slab, we got it in an eight, super good price. I mean, overall, when you look at the condition, I mean, slightly off center and left to right. I mean, the centering is really good, right? It's strong condition when I look at the corners. I mean, again, old slab eight, but man, so pumped to get this one. <laughs> Just got it in, you know, about a, you know, a week or so ago. I mean, just super excited. This card is nuts. You know, not too many nines, only a few tens. You know, the nine is our instant, you know, 100K range, so that's just not gonna happen for us right now. But that eight is, is a monster. Might be the best card in our collection. You know, got a few other nice things, like um, a Jordan eight. Uh, and what we got an Alcindor rookie at a seven. But that's right there, if not the best one. So pretty pumped about that. So anyway, that's our 68 set. Third set we've closed, uh, 59, 60, 68. That one really ended with a bang, uh, needing the best card there and went went pretty heavy on it. Um, but yeah, tell us what you think. You know, do you like the new cards or the, sorry, the bigger cards graded high, better condition? Um, do you like the raw stuff? Do you like the variations? You know, what do you do for the master sets, right? I mean. Some people get super into it. I mean, I've seen lists of 200 variations for this set. You know, again, just trying to close a set that seems so difficult. Um, you know, you're trying to get the run on the 50s and 60s. So yeah, let me know what you think. Hopefully you like the set. Um, you know, send any comments, questions, you know, let me know what you got. Um, you know, appreciate you watching. Till next time.